New York CDL has MAT practice exam. Question 1. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 3. 2. 4. Answer. 2. Question 2. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Dangerous placards Explosives placards Blasting agents placards Answer Explosives placards Question 3. The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 10, 50, 100. Answer. 50. Question 4. Who is responsible for safely transporting a hazardous material shipment without delay and keeping the shipping papers in the right place? The shipper. The carrier. The driver. Answer. The driver. Question 5. You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 6. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Poisons Flammable gases Explosives Answer Poisons Question 7. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. 1 hour or 50 miles. 2 hours or 100 miles. 3 hours or 150 miles. Answer. 2 hours or 100 miles. Question 8. You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in the truck's glove compartment. A box under the driver's seat. Clear view within your reach. Answer. Clear view within your reach. Question 9. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Dangerous blackguards. Blasting agents blackguards. Explosives blackguards. Answer. Explosives the placards. Question 10. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Before starting the trip. 
while you are still on a part of the route that you know. Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 11. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The proper shipping name. The identification number. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 12. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you can safely pass the fire without stopping. Have LTL of a non-flammable materials. Are equipped with fire sprinklers. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 13. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 300 100 200 Answer 300 Question 14 to find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials, you should Open and inspect every package and container. Check for a fence around the loading dock. Look at the shipping papers. Answer Look at the shipping papers. Question 15. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, you must have An approved gas mask An emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate Both of the above Answer Both of the above Question 16. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 2. 3. 4. Answer. 2. Question 17. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver. The shipper. The carrier. Answer. The driver. Question 18. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on sides. 2 3 4 Answer 4 Question 19. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Call Kimdrag by phone and tell them where you are going. Answer Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 20. 
you find it overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 21 If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard. Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong. Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Answer Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Question 22 You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a shipment of hazardous material. The shipping papers must be in a pouch on the driver's door or in the truck's glove compartment, a box under the driver's seat, clear view within your reach. Answer Clear view within your reach. Question 23 A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Explosives the placards. Dangerous placards. Blasting agents placards. Answer. Explosives the placards. Question 24. A truck carrying explosives has crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until at least 30 minutes have passed. The shipper's loading foreman is present. The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Answer The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Question 25. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material is in a package containing no other materials. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Answer. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 26. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a Reportable quantity of a hazardous substance Non-hazardous material Hazardous waste Answer Non-hazardous material. Question 27. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The entry is for a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. The material is not a hazardous material. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question 28. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Corrosive material, 
hydrochloric acid, UN1789. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN1048. Answer. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN1048. Question 29. If the word forbidden appears in the hazard class column of an entry in the hazardous materials table, the carrier may not open the package or container. A common carrier must never transport the material. A shipment of that material must never be larger than the RQ. Answer. A common carrier must never transport the material. Question 30. You have a vehicle with the tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are less than half of the load. Bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 31. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when the driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 32. You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 33. When handling packages of explosive, you must Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Answer Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 34. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN1048. Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN1789. Hexen, UN1208, flammable liquid. Answer Hydrogen bromide, non flammable gas, UN ten forty eight. Question thirty five The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with a all rating of BC or more. Five, fifteen, ten. Answer. 10. Question 36. You have a vehicle with the tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are bundled loosely together with steel strapping. 
loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Less than half of the load. Answer. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 37. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. The consignee's phone number. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. An extra fire bottle. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 38. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Poisons Flammable gases Explosives Answer Poisons Question 39. The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 50 100 10 Answer 50 Question 40 only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048. Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Answer. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN-1048. Question 41. The transport index of a radioactive material tells the degree of control needed during transportation is something that only the shipper needs to worry about is another way of writing the weight of the package. Answer Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question 42. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver the carrier, the shipper. Answer. The driver. Question 43. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Report it to your carrier immediately. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 44. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop. Feet before the nearest track. 10 to 35 5 to 20 15 to 50 Answer 15 to 50 Question 45 If hazardous materials is spilling from your vehicle, do not move your vehicle. Any more than safety requires. Any more than 500 feet. In an upwind direction. Answer. 
any more than safety requires. Question 46. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. The consignee's phone number. An extra fire bottle. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 47. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Before starting the trip. Answer. Before starting the trip. Question 48. A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are handling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest trail. 25 75 50 Answer 50 Question 49. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Driver Shipper Carrier Answer Shipper Question 50. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer the shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 51. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should Keep people away and warn them of danger. Prevent smoking and keep open flames away. Do both of the above. Answer. Do both of the above. Question 52. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN-1048. Answer. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN-1048. Question 53. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with the all rating of BC or more. 5 10 15 Answer 10 Question 54. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Before starting the trip. 
while you are still on a part of the route that you know. Answer Before starting the trip. Question 55. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the Material is in a package containing no other materials. Material has an insurance value of over $1,000. Carrier must report any spill of this material. Answer Carrier must report any spill of this material. Question 56. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Dangerous placards Explosives the placards Blasting agents placards Answer Explosives the placards Question 57. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities Shippers list of transportable quantities EPA dangerous materials table Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Question 58. Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes a placarded cargo tank, two or more trailers, a 200 inch wheelbase trailer. Answer A placarded cargo tank Question 59 The transport index of a radioactive material Is another way of writing the weight of the package Tells the degree of control needed during transportation Is something that only the shipper needs to worry about Answer Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question 60. The intent of hazardous materials regulations is to ensure safety, to contain the material, and to tax shippers correctly, to allow state enforcement, to communicate the risk. Answer To communicate the risk Question 61 You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Call Kimtrek by phone and tell them where you are going. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Answer Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 62. You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must. Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 63 
who was responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment. Manufacturer Shipper Carrier Answer Carrier Question 64. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789. Hexton, UN 1208, flammable liquid. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048. Answer Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048 Question 65, you are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must Continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Report it to your carrier immediately. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 66 Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes a placarded cargo tank A 200-inch wheelbase trailer Two or more trailers Answer A placarded cargo tank Question 67 You have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas you may load such cylinders only if they are Less than half of the load Bundled loosely together with steel strapping Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Question 68. No one may smoke within 25 feet of any vehicle that contains explosives, oxidizers, or Compressed gases Poisons Flammable materials Answer Flammable materials Question 69. If an X or an RQ is in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry, the Entry refers to the materials that must be top-loaded. Material listed on that line is the largest part of the shipment. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Answer Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Question 70. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with a all rating of BC or more. 10 5 15 Answer Question 71. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Poisons Flammable gases Explosives Answer Poisons Question 72. 
you should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 100 gallons 110 gallons Any amount Answer Any amount Question 73. The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 50 100 10 Answer 50 Question 74. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN1048. Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN1789. Hexen, UN1208, flammable liquid. Answer Hydrogen bromide, non flammable gas, UN ten forty eight. Question seventy five Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The shipper, the carrier, the driver. Answer The driver Question 76 Who is responsible for safely transporting a hazardous material shipment without delay and keeping the shipping papers in the right place? The carrier The driver The shipper Answer the driver. Question 77. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? Carrier. Shipper. Manufacturer. Answer. Carrier. Question 78. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong. Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard. Answer Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Question 79. No one may smoke within 25 feet of any vehicle that contains explosives, oxidizers, or Compressed gases Poisons Flammable materials Answer Flammable materials Question 80. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Corrosives and oxidizers Explosives A and B Acids and poisons. Answer Explosives A and B. Question 81 You find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must cool the tire, then check it every two hours. 
remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least 2 hours before continuing your trip. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 82. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with a all rating of BC or more. 5 10 15 Answer 10 Question 83 you may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 300 100 200 Answer 300 Question 84 a vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Blasting agents placards Explosives placards Dangerous placards Answer Explosives placards Question 85. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? Driver Carrier Shipper Answer Shipper Question 86. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard Answer Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident Question 87. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with an all rating of BC or more. 10 5 15 Answer 10 Question 88. You have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are Bundled loosely together with steel strapping Less than half of the load Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced Question 89. Carriers must give each driver who transports class A or B explosive. The consignee's phone number. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. An extra fire bottle. Answer. A copy of FMCSR Part 397. Question 90. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop feet before the nearest track. 15 to 50 5 to 20 10 to 35 Answer 15 to 50 Question 91. 
You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Call Kim Drag by phone and tell them where you are going. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Answer Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 92. A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are handling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest trail. 75 25 50 Answer 50 Question 93. If an X or an RQ is in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry, the material listed on that line is the largest part of the shipment. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Entry refers to the materials that must be top loaded. Answer. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Question 94. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you have LTL of a non-flammable materials. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Are equipped with fire sprinklers. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 95. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. 3 hours or 150 miles. 2 hours or 100 miles. 1 hour or 50 miles. Answer. 2 hours or 100 miles. Question 96. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas. UN 1048 Hexen, UN 1208 Flammable liquid Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid, UN 1789 Answer Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048 Question 97. Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes A placarded cargo tank Two or more trailers A 200-inch wheelbase trailer Answer A placarded cargo tank Question 98. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the Shippers list of transportable quantities List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities EPA Dangerous Materials Table Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities. Question 99. 
the power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with the all rating of BC or more. 10 5 15 Answer 10 Question 100. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for this trip? Within 24 hours of the finish of the trip. Before starting the trip. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Answer before starting the trip. Question 101. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Besides. 3 2 4 Answer 4 Question 102. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat door. In the pouch on the driver's door. With you. On the dashboard in clear view. Answer. In the pouch on the driver's door. Question 103. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Dangerous blackguards Blasting agents blackguards Explosives blackguards Answer Explosives blackguards Question 104. Class A explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes A placarded cargo tank Two or more trailers A 200-inch wheelbase trailer Answer A placarded cargo tank Question 105. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities Shippers list of transportable quantities EPA dangerous materials table Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities Question 106 With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Explosives A and B Acids and poisons Corrosives and oxidizers Answer Explosives A and B Question 107 When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when the driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. 
Question 108. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 100 200 300 Answer 300 Question 109 you find an overheated tire during an en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Wait at least two hours before continuing your trip. Cool the tire, then check it every two hours. Answer Remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question 110. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you can safely pass the fire without stopping. Have LTL of a non-flammable materials. Are equipped with fire sprinklers. Answer. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question 111. When handling packages of explosive, you must Never use hooks or other metal tools. Keep bystanders 100 feet away. Double wrap wet boxes in plastic to prevent staining. Answer. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question 112. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive A and B. You must have Blasting agents placards. Explosives the placards. Dangerous placards. Answer. Explosives the placards. Question 113. Only one of these shipping paper descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN1048. Corrosive material, hydrochloric acid. UN 1789 Hexen, UN 1208, flammable liquid Answer Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048 Question 114 which signals may be used to warn of a stopped vehicle that contains explosives? Reflective triangles Flares or fuses Signal fires Answer Reflective triangles Question 115 you have a vehicle with L tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are less than half of the load. Bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 116. Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? Carrier Shipper Manufacturer Answer Carrier
Question 117. A properly prepared uniform hazardous waste manifest is required only if there is a loss of cargo during transport. Is the same as any other shipping paper. Must be signed and carried by anyone transporting a hazardous waste. Answer Must be signed and carried by anyone transporting a hazardous waste. Question 118. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting Class A or B explosives? The written route plan. The carrier's insurance policy. Both of the above. Answer. The written route plan. Question 119. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must. Report it to your carrier immediately. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Continue at reduced speed and check the tire every 25 miles. Answer. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 120. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The proper shipping name. The identification number. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 121. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver. The carrier. The shipper. Answer. The driver. Question 122. No one may smoke within 25 feet of any vehicle that contains explosives, oxidizers, or flammable materials, compressed gases, poisons. Answer. Flammable materials. Question 123. If an X or an RQ is in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry, the Entry refers to the materials that must be top-loaded. Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Material listed on that line is the largest part of the shipment. Answer Shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. Question 124. To stop for railroad tracks, you should stop feet before the nearest track. 5 to 20. 15 to 50. 10 to 35. Answer. 15 to 50. Question 125. An X in the hmm column of a shipping paper entry means. The entry is for a hazardous material. This is an exception to the hazardous materials regulations. The material is not a hazardous material. Answer. The entry is for a hazardous material. 
Question 126. You have a vehicle with all tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are less than half of the load. Bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 127. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should Prevent a panic by acting like nothing is wrong. Tell only the emergency response team about the hazard. Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Answer Keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. Question 128 When fueling a placarded vehicle, someone must always be at the emergency power shut off for the pump. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher. Answer. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question 129. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel. The shipping papers must be on the driver's seat or with you on the dashboard and clear view in the pouch on the driver's door. Answer in the pouch on the driver's door. Question 130. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on. Besides. 3. 2. 4. Answer. 4. Question 131. To find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials. You should Check for a fence around the loading dock. Look at the shipping papers. Open and inspect every package and container. Answer Look at the shipping papers. Question 132 the total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 100 50 10 Answer 50 Question 133 To stop for railroad tracks you should stop feet before the nearest track. 5 to 20, 10 to 35, 15 to 50. Answer 15 to 50. Question 134. A driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 3 4 2 Answer 2 Question 135 you should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 100 gallons. Any amount.
110 gallons. Answer. Any amount. Question 136. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. 100 gallons. 110 gallons. Any amount. Answer. Any amount. Question 137. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these lists is the List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities Shippers list of transportable quantities EPA dangerous materials table Answer List of hazardous substances and reportable quantities Question 138 A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on sides 4 2 3 Answer 4 Question 139. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Flammable gases Explosives Poisons Answer Poisons Question 140 a driver who transports radioactive materials and has to follow a certain route must have had special training by the carrier within the last years. 4 3 2 Answer 2 Question 141. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The shipper. The carrier. The driver. Answer. The driver. Question 142. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should Prevent smoking and keep open flames away. Keep people away and warn them of danger. Do both of the above. Answer Do both of the above. Question 143. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. The shipment is a hazardous waste. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Answer. The shipper is a private carrier, carrying their own product. Question 144. Animals and human food stuff should not be loaded in the same vehicle with Poisons Explosives Flammable gases Answer Poisons Question 145 You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must 
continue at reduced speed, and check the tire every 25 miles. Report it to your carrier immediately. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Answer Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question 146. To find out if a shipment includes of hazardous materials, you should Open and inspect every package and container. Look at the shipping papers. Check for a fence around the loading dock. Answer Look at the shipping papers. Question 147. You have a vehicle with the tracks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are less than half of the load. Bundled loosely together with steel strapping. Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Answer Loaded upright of lying down flat and braced. Question 148. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the ID number, and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first on the shipping paper? The identification number. The proper shipping name. The hazard class. Answer. The proper shipping name. Question 149. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Call Kimtrek by phone and tell them where you are going. Have the loading observers sign the shipping papers. Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Answer Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. Question 150. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every. Whichever is less. 1 hour or 50 miles. 3 hours or 150 miles. 2 hours or 100 miles. Answer. 2 hours or 100 miles. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.